Hey guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. It's super early in the morning. I just woke up, that's why I threw this hat on, so you guys are spared my messy, crazy blonde hair. I'm gonna show you guys another what I eat in a day video today. These videos are fun for me because I get to kind of video journal my diet, but this is what I eat in a day, and I'm a pretty active guy, so I'm not saying it's what you should eat. I'm saying I've been vegan nearly 20 years, actually in two days from now, I'll be entering in my 17th year being vegan vegetarian. And I'm gonna do breakfast right now, so if you guys hit the like button for me, I'd appreciate that. Comment down below, and stay tuned to the end because you'll never believe what I eat all throughout the day. Let's go for breakfast. thing about doing these what I eat in a day videos is filming them. It's not the food, it's the filming and editing. I totally forgot to show you guys that I was eating these bunny fruit snacks. Yes, I'm an adult man and I'm eating bunny fruit snacks. They're organic and vegan and they're gone now because they're in my stomach and that's how I got energy in my brain for editing videos for you guys today. Now we're doing lunch. I got this pot going on and I've got a combination of Annie's vegan mac and cheese with Badaya vegan mac and cheese. I like both these kinds, and we're going to combine them together to make a super mac and cheese. Let's go. Alright, I'm in love with tofurkey and field roast sausages, but these are the tofurkey ones. And these are the kielbasa, even though tofurkey makes one called beer brats, and those are my favorite. But today we have the tofurkey kielbasa. These have like 20 some odd grams of protein in them per sausage. I'm slicing up two of them in there because I like my mac and cheese to be vegan and hearty. And then I'm gonna hit the gym after this lunch and go work all this off and turn it into vegan athlete muscle. If you guys saw one of my previous videos, you saw how I took a recent trip to the farmer's market in Phoenix to see my friends at Sun Valley Harvest. They grow mushrooms. So I've got these locally grown incredible mushrooms, oyster mushrooms and lion's mane mushrooms. We're gonna dice them up real thin and put these in our mac and cheese. So this mac and cheese will have a lot of fungus in them. High in protein, high in antioxidants, and a ton of other nutrients is gonna supercharge this dip. If YouTube had smell-o-vision right now, it would smell like shrooms. We already got some veggies in there, thanks to the Daya company. Thanks, Daya. Thanks for the veggies. Thanks for the mushrooms, Sun Valley Harvest. Thanks for the tofurkey, tofurkey. All right, here's the vegan cheese from Amy's. Here's the vegan cheese from Daya. It looks different, but the Daya one is awesome. Mmm. My favorite part of the diet sheet at the end is to do this. I'm gonna add in some nutritional yeast. 
is dehydrated moringa leaf powder and moringa flowers from my garden. A tiny bit of garlic powder. A little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. I like my life spicy, so we're gonna add some cayenne pepper in there as well. Bam! That's what it looks like. around so I always lick the spoon. You guys, I work from home nowadays, I kind of set my own schedule. I don't have to check in or clock in with a boss or an office, so a lot of times I make my own food at home. I do love eating out still. When I do eat at home, I love making traditional, you know, comfort foods like mac and cheese, but doing it in a healthy way where it's got no cholesterol, lots of nutrients, and things that are made and grown locally at my home from local growers, and things that are organic, I try to support folks who are doing good things in the vegan and organic community. So let's give it a try and I'll try to describe to you guys. Wow, that is so good. I was wondering how it would be combining both cheeses together. It's fantastic, so healthy. That mushroom flavor is great. Let's go to the next vegan food on my what I eat today. I'm gonna finish this up and then get to the gym. here at home for a vegan dinner. I'm starving today and I feel like being a little bit naughty. So let's make a grotesquely calorie rich, nutrient dense vegan dinner. Let's go. We're gonna go for the original tofurkey kielbasa. Oh yes. We're going for three of these guys. Let's put these boys in the oven.
All right, guys, that's it. That's my naughty vegan dinner for tonight. Three incredible looking tofurkey inspired veggie hot dogs. Let me show you guys a final shot of what these guys look like in all their veggie vegan kielbasa glory. These guys look delicious. Let me grab this guy right here and try my very best to describe this thing for you guys. This thing looks so delicious and is full of avocado and sauerkraut, organic ketchup, organic mustard, hot sauce. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. You guys gotta get out of here. I'm having a spiritual experience with this hot dog. Go vegan. Try to grow your food at home. Check me out at seedbankbox.com, my seed program for garden seeds. Jakemace.com for everything else, and Jake Mace Tai Chi on social media. You guys, hit like and subscribe to my channel here, and I'll see y'all back here next time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Little bonus for you guys who stuck around. I totally forgot that I had dessert in the fridge in the form of these delicious rambutans. I'm in love with rambutans. They look so hairy on the outside, but they are delicious on the inside. Let me show you guys. Since I'm at home, I can use a knife to kind of slice it open and then check this out. Outside is hairy, inside is like a grape. And this grape-like thing is kind of like a lychee, kind of like a grape. It's kind of in my mouth right now. I compost this stuff. So fantastic. Mm. I love these. Find an Asian market or Mexican market in your town and get a whole bag of lychees or rambutans. Also good for juggling. Adios, guys.